Good day everyone, my name is Kessler and welcome to the another commentary about the Atlas family of rockets. Some of us wonder what is a 1.5 staging is. Then you're in the right video because in this video I'm going to discuss what 1.5 staging and how it is applied to the Atlas family or until it became obsolete when Atlas 3 came in. Of course, the first of all Atlas rockets, the Atlas 1 which came from a missile and carried the first American astronauts on orbit and this had a pretty pretty 1.5 staging. It works by having booster stage which is a liquid fueled engines and burns through the atmosphere like a first stage and when it reached a certain height the two of, it, the two of its engines dropped off from the main rocket for example. One had three engines two on the booster and one on the first stage. That booster will sip some fuel from the first stage until it's burn time that it would be actually like removing two engines mid-flight and proceeds to its normal procedure. So obviously these certain characteristics would be that it is like a first stage but when you get to a certain height the engines of it would jettison but not the tanks that is connected to it. The obvious example of it is the Atlas 1 and 2 which have the same engine configuration and by the way I will posting a video tomorrow Wednesday because for now I'm focused on a project that I think would be a worth try and also me I'm going to be a present I'm going to present it it to a front of people because what I'm doing is a scientific investigatory project because I'm doing some some invention some some innovation I think the innovation that I can think of it is a swimming gear or face mask in general but its ox oxygen supply came from the water yes came from the water my design would be a full face mask like what you're seeing in some Nook team movie so you can inhale some radioactive dust but what's more compelling is someone, to, someone tried to make that and it failed it miserably failed my innovation would use of what's called an electrolysis apparatus which the water or H2O in its chemical formula can separate on its into its elements hydrogen and oxygen of course you can really need hydrogen for breathing right and oxygen is the only thing we need for breathing of course for scuba diving you don't need those bulky and heavy oxygen tanks to do that but the problem of it is the power we need and the only battery that I can do that is a lithium polymer or lithium ion batteries which is really 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 expensive here in the Philippines and I just wish that I can pass it to our science department and maybe maybe we can improve its design and also can pass it to, other, to go and patent it I, I'm just going to think that the other thing that it is the problem is the waterproofing of it because I don't know what how to up waterproof it because wires wires and also wires and also the fact the fact that maybe that we can that I can when I tried it baby that it won't have the, sufi the sufficient oxygen we need because I don't know, maybe the, because the one time I was thinking that I was thinking about H2O. H2O has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, which is a covalent bond. So, so we, so what they're doing here is when you get a, for example, one gram of oxygen gas when we electro from from the water itself we can get as twice as the as the hydrogen than the oxygen itself so it is pretty pretty small comparing to the square of comparing comparing to the square of that hydrogen making besides is it is like h2o to be comparing, comparing it to the oxygen so yeah as I'm
that's a that's all it so maybe in the next video i'll talk about it but for now thank you so much and goodbye Thank you.